Hello there, it's Rich here from Serious Cricket. Yesterday, I had a chat with a young man about his grip, so when he bowls. There were lots of different permutations to this conversation, but really I just wanted to see how he gripped the ball. And I thought this would be a really good one for you guys to see on YouTube. So here we go. So first of all, his grip was two fingers on the top of the ball and then he was round the side. Now he didn't swing the ball particularly and we kind of were trying to work out why. So I gave him some different options. So the first option here is, and I've got a red and white ball to show you. This is the neutral grip. Two fingers on top of the ball and then the flat of the, the ball or the flat of the, the thumb is on the, the seam on the ball there. So that balances out the ball when you want to let it go. Now that's just my thoughts on, on how that grip can look. To swing it from there, you tilt it a little bit towards the offside for the away swinger, and then you tilt it a little bit in for the in swinger. But he tried this grip and it didn't quite work. And I'm gonna try and explain why. So there are two things when you swing the ball. Um, first of all, we've got a grip which we kind of already knew a minute ago. But then it's, it's the movement of the wrist and the arm path as it comes over. And in essence, all three things have got to work together to help you swing it. So the, the neutral grip that I talked to you about a minute ago, two fingers on top, thumb underneath. If as a bowler, you get your wrist to go straight back and straight through, and you get your arm to come straight over the top of of the shoulder in a sort of a 12 o'clock fashion that we've all always thought of, then that is a good combination of the three things. But there are bowlers that bowl at, you know, let's say one o'clock and two o'clock and three o'clock, and they're also very effective. So those arm paths have got to work with that wrist action too, and also that grip. So the young player I was talking to you about a minute ago he had quite a low arm path and he was losing that grip and it just seemed to produce a very straight delivery. So we made a few changes based on where his arm was going and how he gripped it and we tried the thumb in lots of different places. His two fingers on top of the ball were fantastic and that was really useful. So from this, I think for all bowlers, I think we can swing it, especially us seamers, and, and definitely move it as even seam bowlers as well. And that's the basic principle. So keeping your arm and your wrist, and then that release, keeping the seam upright. If you can work all three of those things together, I think you're either gonna swing it or you're gonna seam it. Okay, so the first grip that I showed you was two fingers on top, thumb underneath. And this is how I'm going to work with this action going as straight as I can. So this time round, I'm going to destabilise the, the thumb or the seam. So I'm going to take it away from that, that neutral position and I'm going to put it to the side. Let's see what happens to the ball. So this time, or that time round, I destabilised the thumb and you found, we saw straight away that the ball moved a lot more. Out of my hand, it was a lot less, there was a lot less control. Um, so I personally wouldn't feel as comfortable bowling that way round. I would prefer to have my thumb underneath the ball on, with the flat of the seam, uh, sorry, the flat of my thumb on the seam purely for my own personal preference. I still find it gets movement, and I, but I find that I have so much more control. But as you saw, changing the thumb position, either to the side or even into this position where you bend the thumb, you can make a difference to the way that the ball comes out and you may get a different outcome. What I'm suggesting here for all you bowlers is change your thumb position and see how you get on. Now please notice I've been absolutely super neutral on top. And you can be two fingers together or just two fingers either side of the seam. But I do have a golden rule. 
I do feel like if you're going to touch the same, uh, sorry, if you're going to swing the ball, I feel like you need to touch the same. Have a go at all of those, see how you get on. Please comment in the section below, we'd love to hear how you're getting on. If you've liked what you've seen, please hit subscribe. Thanks for watching.